<laughs> Great stuff. Good morning. It's Saturday the 6th of July 2019. You're tuned into Novice Explorer Radio and you've joined us on day two of the adventure. But here's Margaret with the weather. Thank you, Colin. Yes, the weather this morning is a little on the dull side, especially in comparison to yesterday. It'll dry up this afternoon and there'll be a banging sunset, Colin. Great stuff. After years of anticipation, we had finally hit the road and started clocking up the miles on our big adventure. We set off from home in Shropshire and headed towards the north coast of Wales. The weather was perfect, the sun was on our side. Will it be a good omen? Along the way, we needed a pit stop and found this little gem. Perfect spot for a picnic or a daytime park up, but no overnight camping. So we're on the hunt for our first wild camping spot. So one thing we're still getting used to is the new height of our van. Um, for instance, we thought we were going to struggle underneath this. Yeah, we're still learning how much the surfboards and everything adds. But we're getting there. As we headed to the coast, we received a message from one of our Instagram friends recommending a quiet and secluded spot perfect for wild camping and very close to the beach. When we arrived, the sun had already set, but we couldn't believe our luck. Reaching a beautiful beach on night one, what more could you ask for? Right, so it'll be a bit quieter now because it's bedtime. So there are a couple of vans either side of us, so we just want to be respectful because it's about one o'clock in the morning somehow, half one. Pretty good day today. Mm -hmm. um, Looking forward to breakfast tomorrow. The, the beach is literally two minutes. Possibly less than that. Possibly less than that, just right there. You can't see it because of the sand dunes, but no. it's, it is rather it's nice. nice. So yeah, that's our first day on the road, pretty much complete. Mm. I'm knackered, it's been a long... Yeah. It's been a very late start. It's been a very weird day today. Mm. We didn't leave Shropshire about four. Mm. Should have done it earlier but we told ourselves not to stress, not to rush and not to worry. Exactly and I haven't. <laughs> <coughs> That's all that counts. <laughs> oh well, that's not going to give me nightmares, Jesus. <laughs> I see a little silhouette of a moosh and a moosh and a moosh Get me to the fandango and the ball of light me A new day brought with it a sense of freedom and excitement. We spent the morning walking the beach, realising this could be our reality. We combed the beach searching for driftwood and sea glass. So whilst we are picking up the nice bits of sea glass, we do intend to be doing a bit of beach tidying and picking up any plastic that we find, just to do our bit. Uh, we don't intend to do very much today. We're going to get to grips with our new lifestyle, um, do a bit of video making, just to like, find our feet with this thing that we're now doing. A little bird's told me that there's a big thing going on at Snowdon this weekend, so we're going to steer clear and aim to go there next week. Um, we'll probably sleep in the same spot if we can get away with it tonight and spend a bit of time on the beach and just chill, really. I think I found myself a little bit of watercress. Our afternoon consisted of chores, research and editing. After that, we headed back to the beach, knowing that we'd be leaving the next day. 
time to make the most of it. Meg braved the cold Irish Sea and had a swim, dodging the many, many jellyfish. We were also treated to a wonderful sunset on our last night here. Good morning. We've just finished our lovely bacon sandwiches and we've got a cup of coffee as well. Uh, had a really good night's sleep again. We woke up about nine o'clock. Um, we're in the same location that you saw last night. Uh, as you saw, we were on the beach watching the sunset. It was really nice, wasn't it? Yes, it was lovely. It was lovely. So now our plan is to tidy up the van a bit because we kind of spread ourselves out a bit. So we're going to tidy up. Uh, we need to restock maybe from find water, a little bit of food. Um, but what we really need is our next pullover stop or possibly a campsite because we're heading back in towards Snowden because tomorrow, which is Monday, we want to walk up it. Uh, so we need to be in the vicinity, ready to go. Apparently you've got to be there early, otherwise you won't get a parking spot and it gets busy. So um, we're going to be up and early, I think, for that one, aren't we? Gonna try. Yeah. This must be the most awkward position I've ever seen you wash up. Like, it's fine now, but when it's like horrible outside. Oh. <laughs> Didn't realise you were still big. <laughs> I don't mind doing it like this. When we've got the view and the weather, However, when it's cold and my fingers are freezing and it's windy, that's going to be very, very tough. We had no idea we'd use these as much as we have already. Um, I can safely say we have christened them and our own little stigmas of using them in front of each other has dribbled away. <laughs> uh, yeah, We kind of wish we only bought one with us because it would just be two to keep on cleaning. Um, but they're very useful. So we're just about to leave the place that we've called home for the last couple of days. Feels good to be moving on, I yeah. think. Mm -hmm. It's been the perfect spot for the first two nights of our uh, expedition. Definitely. So anyway, we are going to head into town and try and source those things we mentioned earlier, like water and a bit of food. Uh, so and a recycling station. Recycling station should be good. Uh, we've got a little bit already. It's just the nature of it, unfortunately. Mm. Uh, we found a bin on the beach for our stuff we can't recycle which is good um, but yeah we're gonna hit the road and see where it takes us somewhere near snow and hopefully join us in our next episode where we climb Mount Snowden and find our next wild camping spot <laughs>